So maybe you guys have seen the AirPods and thought they're a really cool pair of True Wireless headphones, but do they even work with an Android phone? And if they do, aren't I gonna miss a lot of the features that they have when they're used with an iPhone? Well, that is true traditionally, but I have a hack for you guys that's gonna solve a lot of those problems. It's gonna allow you to use the in-ear detection for the AirPods, which means they'll start and stop audio when you take them in or out. And also it's gonna allow you to get the battery status of the AirPods and the case on an Android device. Now I'm working on a full review of the AirPods where I compare them to the Jaybird X3s and I talk about their fitness use. And I'll put that up in the cards and link that down below as soon as that's ready. But for now, let's get to this hack. Okay, so to install the Air Battery app, you're just gonna go to the Google Play Store and type in Air Battery, like you would for any other application. Click on the first one. It's going to be the app by George Friedrich. Click on install. And then of course, you just wait for the app to download. Once it installs, go ahead and click on open. And it'll ask you for location access to find your AirPods or Beats. I don't quite understand this because it's not really locating them, to my knowledge anyway. Uh, but for some reason, it requires location access. So it's going to ask you to allow for that access. And you'll, now you'll see at the bottom there's two, Air, two AirPods and the case, and now it shows the battery level percentage of my AirPods and the case, which is something you cannot normally do on an Android phone. It's pretty cool. So now you're able to check that battery percentage. You can launch the app and it will give you some options there. Let's say the maximum update frequency is 10 minutes. You can upgrade to the Pro version, which is really inexpensive, which I'm gonna do in a second here. And then you want the app to automatically open and close as soon as you connect or disconnect the AirPods. And then I asked about Spotify, automatic pausing. So like when you have the automatic ear detection where you put it in your ear, it starts playing. You take it out of your ear, it stops playing. So you can also do that now with this app. This is kind of a experimental thing it says. You can also use it for apps like Netflix and YouTube or Beyond Pod as well. However, it will um, take higher battery usage. So we're actually gonna go in here in a second as well and see how that works with various applications. All right, so now we have the AirPods connected to my Galaxy S8 Plus. If you go here in the status bar up top, you'll see that it says, air battery status in ear on, get pro to see live battery information here. So if you wanna see the actual battery percentages, you upgrade to pro. So let's go here. So let's click on settings. And then when you go into the settings here, you're gonna see if you want to show notification or change the update frequency, you just upgrade to Pro. So let's go ahead and do that. Donate to remove ads and get Pro. And it's only 99 cents. So it's not like you're paying a lot of money for this. It's 99 cents. I recommend just go ahead and do that if you're actually going to be using this application. It's definitely worth it. Oh, okay. So I went and paid for it. And now we have the Pro version. Let's just go ahead and refresh things here. Let's back out of the app and go back into the app again. So now we see there's not any ads at the bottom now that we have the pro version. Okay, so now that the AirPods are out of the case and in my ears, I see that they both have a full charge. However, it is not showing the status of the battery cases this time. And that's because it says that the case itself does not have Bluetooth, so it can't actually detect the battery level of the case unless at least one of the AirPods are in the case. Then it uses the AirPod to somehow detect the um, level of the case there. So we go to settings here. And there we see that we have the air battery status up top here as being left and right 100 in this kind of status notification bar like you would for the iPhone. Okay, so here at the top of the screen, we see that it says show notification pro and maximal update frequency pro 10 minutes. I kind of expected that that would actually be activated and live right now, but it's not. Here it says this category is disabled because in-ear detection is activated. Now currently I have them in my ear so I guess we have to turn off ear detection here. So let's go ahead and turn that off. Yes. And that will then give us the pro features. So it allows us to say whether or not we want to show notifications. And also we can change the update frequency and how often it updates the battery percentages. So currently it's up to 10 minutes. If you, the, basically the less often you update the battery, you know, the battery percentages, the better battery life it's going to get. The more often you try to update that status, the higher battery percentage is gonna require. So we can change that, I'll leave it at 10 minutes currently. That's fine for me. And if we don't wanna show the notification up top, we just turn that off and then it will not show the notification up top of the battery percentage. 
Go ahead and turn it on again. Can okay, also I, sh I put on the show notification part and I'm not seeing the percentage of the battery here yet. So let's go ahead and exit out and we'll see there it says they're both full, but it's not, there we go. So we pulled down again now, I'll see the status of the left and right earbuds as being 100%. All right guys, so now we're gonna check out the operation of the AirPods with the Galaxy S8 Plus Android phone. And we're also gonna check out the Air Battery app and see how that works. So I'll just turn on Bluetooth on my phone. I'll open the AirPods. I can select them there. And they're connected, hit done. Then if I open the Air Battery application, it will show that I have two full AirPods. And also I have the case at 5% charge left. If I take one of these out, it might change that. Or probably when it updates it will, it'll change how that screen looks. Now if I go into settings here, so put them into my ears. And if I go into Spotify, for instance, and I turn that on. I obviously can't play this music for you guys or really any media because it's all copyrighted. However, I'll start playing it. You can at least see how it looks and that it's playing. And if I take one of these out, it will stop it. I'll make this a little bigger for you guys now. Put it in again. It'll start automatically playing. So that's very cool. It's a function you would not have normally with the AirPods on an Android device, but with this application, you're able to have the automatic start and stop. It will also work with YouTube and it will also work with Netflix and they may add some other applications to that. So I can't really show you Netflix, unfortunately, but I will go in and show you my YouTube channel. So we can go here to my channel and say I play a video. Start playing this one here. And if I take this out, it should stop. So there it stopped. Put it back in again. And there it starts. So it's pretty awesome. All right, so now we have the ability to do automatic ear detection with an Android device on the AirPods. So to me, that's a pretty cool thing. Um, there is another way actually that you can do starting and stopping of audio or video, and that's just by double tapping the stem here to start. Double tap again to stop. And actually you don't need the air battery application for that. Now I kind of like the automatic in and out ear thing better, but that is an option that you can do as well. Now with that, you don't get the option you would get with an iPhone where actually you can change the double tap setting to be for instance, Siri on the left and on the right, you can change that to be say, skip track forward. However, you do have that ability to start and stop by simply double tapping the stem. However, you're not gonna get that battery status indication unless you have the air battery application. So if you have that, then you can go here, you know, and you can see even in the status bar, the left and right battery status of your AirPods. So to me, that's pretty game changing. To me, that's a reason why I would consider buying the AirPods for an Android device when I would probably not have considered doing that otherwise. Um, let me know if you guys agree with that and if you also are more likely to buy the AirPods now that you see this application or if you don't think it's really a big deal or you'd still rather buy a different device, make sure to write to me some comments down below. Also, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments down below as well. If you wanna check out the AirPods, I'm gonna put links in the description below. Um, and if you check them out, I'm also put some links for the Jaybird X3s as well that will help to support the channel. And I'll put a link for my video when it comes out. Also, you guys can check that out to get a little more of a thorough view of the AirPods and how they compare to the Jaybird X3s. If you do like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more videos coming out soon. And I hope to see you next time. Later. I wake it up.